What's up everybody, Rick Denham here, Holy Moly Outdoors. Thank you so much for joining us. We're talking a concept to make you a better salmon trout and steelhead fisherman with just three rods. So stay tuned. So if you wanna be a successful salmon trout or steelhead fisherman this fall, winter, summer, wherever, this I really think will apply to many people. For my own success, I found that this system really makes it easy for me to not only effectively fish the waters that I encounter whenever I go out, but I don't have to spend a bunch of time tying up. This is where I think it helps me to stay on top of maximizing the most amount of my time on the water. Frankly, some of us may not have the ability to get out every day, every couple of days, every week really. So if you're gonna go out, why spend 15, 20 minutes every other hour you're losing time that you could be rather tying gear up for new stuff you could be fishing a rod so i have three rods with me that i always carry let's break it down for salmon and how i do this right now for the fall coho are running we still may have chinook in some areas and chum are not far so salmon fishing is truly here right fall is upon us you see the leaves changing all around it's an awesome time of the year to get excited so i go down to a river and i have three rods that you see in front of me i have a float rod of some sort whether it's got a jig on the end of it or it's got eggs for bait i'm gonna then have a spinning hardware rod and then i'm gonna have my utility rod so to say if I got salmon in the rivers, this is gonna end up being a twitching jig like you see here, but it could also change to another technique if you needed to for steelhead or trout fishing. So let's break it down a little bit more into detail, right? I go approach a hole. I get there first thing in the morning. I got my gear already tied up. Night before, this is all prepped, right? Only thing I'm gonna have to do is take off my reel covers, take off my rod wraps, and really have everything then put together. But the big thing, I saved myself time prepping before. I've really done everything I need to right now. I go approach my hole, fish it, floating jig, floating bait, fish it hard. Maybe I don't get a bite with that, right? That is the most subtle first approach. I might then say, okay, those fish didn't want that float presentation. Maybe they want it to be something different entirely. I might go then back through with a spinner or a spoon. So I always have a hardware rod for that because typically for salmon, you're gonna find your aggressive fish to be on the first handful of casts through a hole. Spinners or hardware is a way to wake up fish that may need to be woken up first thing in the morning, might find those aggressive biters. Or let's say everybody in the whole entire hole is fishing floats. You might be the one guy that can fish in between them effectively. Now be smart and not casting over people, but you might be able to catch fish when you're using something different. So hardware rod is always with me as well. And then lastly, we break it down with something as a variety rod. Now this is my twitching rod and I'll go into the depths of the rods here in a brief second, but a twitching rod like this it's a little bit shorter, right? This one's a seven foot six, two piece from Velocity. I'll have everything linked in the description below if you guys wanna check it out. But it's a really cool little rod. And I say little, but it does, it's a workhorse, right? If I'm twitching jigs, it's fantastic on twitching jigs. If I wanna make this a short little drift rod, I don't have to go take off my other stuff. I can just grab this rod, tie a drift rig on and cast out and go. It just makes it super easy. I could even have a spinner or a spoon tied on separately to this. Maybe I wanna cast a dick knight. Boom, I got a rod already ready. Now float rods can be variant, right? So again, everything is a is a opinion preference right now. Um, I'm targeting a lot more of the higher tributary stuff. So I take my rod size and length to consideration of where I'm fishing. If I don't have a lot of shore behind me, I'm not bringing my 12 foot float rod. I'm gonna be bringing a small eight and a half foot. This is perfect, this is another velocity. And I'm gonna be using this guy 
bushwhacking, so to say. So I can have shorter casts behind me and get across, still have a great way to mend line. Um, makes a huge difference, I think, when you pair up properly to where you're fishing. And a hardware rod, I just have an 8.6, 8 to 12, Actually, this one's 8 to 17. So I, I have this hardware rod, it's 8 to 17. I got some of my custom spinner on there right now. But truly, guys, I mean, you all know that a spinner is one of a coho's favorite things to hit. So I'm always going to have at least something tied on hardware-wise. But I really think the biggest takeaway is three rods can approach any encounter you'll have throughout the season any encounter you may have from the head of a hole to the middle of a run to the tail out you can fish all of that effectively and you don't have to tie up i mean i said that already but i mean it i mean you guys can literally fish effectively and not have to tie one knot it's already done when you come to steelhead fishing right same concept applies i always have a float rod whether it's got a bead or it's got a jig or it's got bait i got that already covered then I'm going to have a hardware rod, spoon or spinner, always with me. That utility rod then becomes something else, right? I might free drift shrimp, eggs. You have ability to do a little things differently depending on where you're fishing. And so that for me, I really think made a huge increase in my success as I went through learning this, right? How do I get better every day on the water? And minimizing my gear made a difference because I, <laughs> Donnie, if you're watching, Matt, if you're watching, some of my buddies know this too well, right? Shoot, it says it on the back of my sweatshirt. It says tackle shop. I used to bring, I kid you not, like a 20 pound backpack full of every bit of gear. I had six or seven rods with me. I had way too much stuff. There was no way I was gonna fish it all. I started finding a ways, how do I effectively tone down the gear I take with me be more effective and it builds more confidence really right because you can get caught up in sitting there saying oh if i only had this rod or this rig or whatever i would have caught fish well get good at what you're confident in and the success will come with that so i then have three rods salmon trout or steelhead every time and frankly look what makes a huge difference I said this at the start, if you take care of your gear with a real cover, some awesome rod wraps like these from Reed's Rod Wraps, three rods to carry with this broken down is so minimal, you don't even really notice the difference, right? I can just tuck them all together, no tangles occur, and I'm on my way, right? And that makes it just so convenient. I have a free hand as I'm walking down the river in case I'm walking through bush or along the rocks. And I'm effectively fishing by the time I get to the hole. So keep that in mind. Success with a three rod system for your salmon, trout, and steelhead seasons. I wish you the best of luck. Fall's here. Winter's right around the corner. But I ain't done catching salmon yet. Tight line, guys. We'll catch you on the water. Push on!